So we'll start with creating a new animation, top left hand corner, give it a name. Remember in the image library, you can change the image of this court in the top right hand corner here. You could also make this bigger or smaller. Okay. And decide how many images you want on each row. All right. So first of all, I'm going to add my symbols, remembering to tick this one if I want to, uh, for them to continue when I start to place them on the court. Once I have all of my players in, I right click on the screen to get rid of that and start to add the basketball. Next, I can add a path. So two ways to do that one. Uh, you can come up and left click on the path and go to the diagram and add it in, or you'll see there are shortcuts here that if you learn those ones, then they're easy to put in without coming over here. So if I left click anywhere near a symbol, once I have a path assigned, it will add the path to that one. I bring over to the destination and right click. And now that path is finished, ready for me to draw a new one. Um, I'm gonna move on to the next frame from here. You can do that in one of two ways, either plus or the transition button. And now I'm going to add in this path here, which is R, so R and then start the path and I will add in a new frame. Don't be afraid to add in lots of frames because you could always control the frame speed here uh, and you can you have a little bit more versatility if you do that. So I'm just moving my players here on this frame. I'm gonna transition to the next one here and we can add in a pick and roll. So we're gonna bring him up here. And now what I'm gonna ask this player to do here is dribble the ball. So I need the ball to move here, which means I need to add a path for the ball. But on the, on the uh, diagram, this doesn't look so nice. What I can do is select that path, right click and hide the path so that it does not appear um, on the screen. I'm just adjusting that one so it looks correct. All right, so we've built up some diagrams here to go through our little offense. Now, a few things to note here. You can change the frame speed in the top right hand corner of each frame. Alternatively, go to the bottom of the screen, hit settings, and you can change the default duration of all the frames. Um, what else do we want to do? Maybe you, you may want to change the position of some of your players in this afterwards after creating you see it's not quite right um, if you move a player or a number in a in like the first frame watch what happens in the subsequent frames that player will then move okay however if i come to a subsequent frame and i move that player like that in a previous frame there will be an arrow indicating that movement all right so you'll see I do this again. I just want to get rid of this and now the player has gone back. So let's put this player back and let's take a look at this animation. If I right click on play, then the entire animation will be diagrammed for, for me step by step, which is really nice here. I will click uh, stop but I could do this right click frame by frame. So I'm gonna see each frame as we go until the finish. All right, so you can see there's going to be a problem here on the final frame because these two actions need to happen at a different time. So I would like this player to go a little bit faster. I'm gonna increase the speed of this path by selecting it and increasing that speed just by a little bit. And now I'm going to delay these two paths. So I select one of the paths I want to delay and I'm gonna put this up here and I'll make sure the other one is also at the same delay. So this means the, f the frame speed is 1.5, about halfway through these, the player and the ball is going to move uh, and our screener here is gonna move a little bit faster. So let's check it out. Play animation, left click play. Not bad. 
I may, I may make a few more adjustments on that, but you'll see there, that's how we create an animation. Uh, you can add in descriptions here by left clicking underneath each frame. And really the, uh, the next thing I might want to do here is export this somehow. So at the bottom, we can insert this into a drill, an exercise or a document, um, maybe just one frame or the entire animation. And then the same for a presentation that we might be doing in our video analyzer. If you want to send this out, uh, maybe put this on social media, uh, take some clips and put them out there onto the internet. And right in the middle here, we have export actions. So we can export this animation as a video file and uh, recommend to put this into high definition uh, so it looks really nice. All right, a few customizable things there and you should be good to go. All right, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, see you soon.